What's up, YouTube? Today I got another performance review for you guys on the Anta GH1. And so I picked these up, man. It took me a long time. I've been looking for these since they came out in my size. I was able to pick them up in a size 12 US and like this was the only colorway I could find them on. These were on eBay from like a Russian seller. So if you guys need bigger sizes, take a look on eBay. It might take some looking, but you'll you'll be able to find it. But yeah, let's get right into it. Starting with the traction. So we have like the circles in the toe with the tiger striping in the back. And the traction was solid, like super hard bite, really crazy going every direction. I really enjoyed this traction. Only nitpick thing was it picks up a ton of dust. So consistently wiping was a big thing. It didn't kill me to not wipe at all, but you do, you, you get a little bit of uneasy feeling. If you wipe consistently, you'll get really consistent, great grip. And I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed that. I didn't enjoy the wiping, but the grip was solid. Onto our cushion. So we do have a flash foam. I might just be a chunky guy, man, because almost every shoe, like even just at the, after the wear test, we get compression marks, but the cushion was really good. It was comfortable. It was actually pretty thick feeling. So you do feel a little bit off the ground, which it's not the worst thing. They do have some great support features that, you know, counteract that. But um, it, it's, it's a pretty soft feeling foam. Um, you don't really get the bounce back that you do from like a zoom, but really comfortable. Takes a lot of the impact. Um, I didn't have any issues you know with heel strikes or anything no no joint pain afterwards so really comfortable soft foam not super bouncy but still an enjoyable thing to play in as far as our fit so obviously i got these in a size 12 um, which is half a size up for me but the fit was actually so good like around the midfoot and the heel that like even that extra space i did have a little extra space in the toe i really didn't have any issues in the shoe like it didn't bother me that i had extra space in the toe so while i would recommend going true to size you could get away with being a half size up i mean i know it's kind of hard to find some half sizes in all chinese shoes honestly but yeah, you could get away with it. And like, even in this half size up, it felt good. It had like, from the midfoot back, it, it felt like a Kobe 5 fit. Like it was super snug and really comfortable. I did really enjoy these materials. They actually gave like this real premium feel to them. And it's something I haven't had in the last few pairs of shoes. As far as our support and lockdown. So we do have the TPU plate on the back in this ultra ultra wide midfoot area so like i felt really locked into the shoe because the fit was so great from the midfoot back and this wide base here it, it felt so wide at times that like i almost didn't feel like it was possible to roll my ankle so you can see just just from there the base it it comes out really wide and it's a very nice feature I mean, TPU heel plates, that is a standard thing in all shoes nowadays. So you'll get about the same feeling as you would in any other shoe with the TPU heel plate. But yeah, overall, really great support. Not a ton of support features, but they work really well. And that fit, just the fit alone really locks you into the shoe. As far as materials, you guys can see it's Fuse. TPU some textile it's it's textile over like backed by a fuse honestly that's what it feels like and then a synthetic leather on the toe it I mean to me it just feels it, it feels premium I really love this stuff and just the way it fit around my foot so really enjoyable I did feel it felt premium to me and uh, besides that a neoprene tongue 
which is attached at the midfoot. So adds to that great fit. Neoprene is, it's crazy. It always, you know, it kind of just wraps around your foot almost perfect as it, you know, generally. Overall, is the shoe hoopable? The shoe is extremely hoopable. I would recommend this to everybody, man. Even being a low, it was solid. Like, I really enjoyed playing with this. The grip was solid. The cushion was okay. It was comfortable, but not exactly what I'm looking for in a shoe. The fit was really good. And I, I overall, like, I felt just really great in this shoe. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this something you guys are looking for, still looking for? Are you gonna grab the GH2 whenever it comes out soon? And if you like the content, please subscribe. Besides that, guys, thanks for watching.